So today I'm going on a date with an INTJ. So this is Korean dating simulation app where I can virtually experience dating each of the 16 personality types. I never tried this before and I am so excited. So if I go on a date with an INTJ, I'll probably try not to wear something too ordinary uh, because I heard that INTJs get attracted to unique traits of the person. So I'm gonna uh, put this on. <laughs> not going to go that far on the first day, but maybe on a third day. Just kidding. So let's get started. So this guy is introducing me to a uh, first man. So I skipped all these um, introduction because it's boring. I didn't know there was a English version of this uh, story play. Wow. So that's good because I was I thought it was gonna be uh, all Korean. So first man you'll be meeting is ENFP. He's some kind of a man who is cheerful and likes people. Hmm, ENFP. Would it go well with me? It's all up to you. But one thing that you have to be careful is you have to be honest on what you do so that you will know whether he goes well with you or not. That's easy. So I thought um, the first day was gonna be INTJ, but it's ENFP. Okay, suddenly, ding. Hello, Ari. I'm the guy coming on your blind day. Let me check his picture. Okay. Kind of cute. <laughs> Not exactly my style, but he's, he's good looking. Hello, Ari. I'm the guy coming on your blind day. Nice to meet you. I got a cacao talk message. That's on. That's a famous Korean chatting app. I got a Kakao message from my blind date guy. It was a cute greeting with an emoji. He's such a cheerful person. What should I answer? Your choice will change the storyline and lead to a different ending. Choose within a limited time. If you don't make a selection within a limited time, it will be randomly selected. The time limit is required to make a new choice. How should I answer? Oh, uh, hello, what's your name? Get straight to the point. <laughs> so other INTPs chose to say, nice to meet you too, instead of hello, what's your name? Okay. Hello, what's your name? I first needed to know his name <laughs> for a smooth conversation. Oh, you didn't hear my name. The stiff greeting made the mood awkward. Minus one. It's my pleasure to know you. It's my pleasure to know you too. Not yet, how about you? I'm off work and about to have dinner now. Do you still have a lot of work to do? I'm just going to work a little more and leave the office. I'll be rooting for you then. One hour later. Phew! Finally done. Let's go home now. When I checked my phone, there was a new cacao tongue message. By the way, what kind of food do you like? Is there anything you can't eat? Oh, that's a friendly question. I like that. I like this attitude. I guess he's trying to look for a restaurant. Oh! Uh... I eat everything well. I'm good with whatever. I eat everything well too. <gasps> the answer that you're good with whatever was not attractive. But usually, I usually um, pick the menu, but this is the first time we're talking. So I thought to make it more smooth, I should let him choose. I don't know. 
but usually I choose the menu. But I didn't want to come on too strong because I already got some points off, but then I, I got more points off now. Oh. Okay. Then I find a good restaurant and let you know. Uh, my dad is on ENFP and we always, when we talk about what we want to eat, we always um, kind of talk like this. Like, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, I don't know, what do you want to eat? Because we both are FE users, like we don't know what we want. <laughs> Jasper shared a blog review of an Italian restaurant in Hongdae. I like Italian restaurants. I better make a reservation. Are you free this Saturday evening? He's finally asking. I'm fine with Saturday evening. I will make a reservation for 6 o'clock then. Thank you. Uh, and the conversation for now. Because we talked too much already. Oh, they would continue? Oh, okay. Should I continue the small talk or not? See you at 6 on Saturday. The chemistry level score drops as you hate small talk. <laughs> Alright, enjoy the rest of your day. Gosh, we're seeing each other in 30 minutes. I feel quite nervous. While I was checking my face with, with the mirror, on the subway going to the middle place, my phone vibrated. It's Jasper, what's going on? Oh no, he's calling. Accept the call. Improves chemistry level. Two more points. Ari, where are you? I'm really sorry, but I think I'll be late for about 10 minutes. That's okay, that happens. Okay, I'll be just on time. I'll wait you in front of the station then. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll be there soon. 10 minutes is fine. It's fine. Oh. Chemistry level increased 3 points. My blind date guy appeared about 15 minutes later instead of 10 minutes. It's okay. That happens. But if it happens every time, I would probably say something about it. He looked like he had run in a hurry and was panting. Wearing sneakers with colorful patterns. <laughs> Ari, hi. Pint, pint. I'm sorry for being late. No problem. Really sorry. Shall we go? I checked the map and it said we can go this way. Right. Wow, you checked the map. There was nothing to do as you came late. I want to say this, but I just beat my tongue. <laughs> as we walked to the restaurant, with light gra gratings, I felt pain in my heel. Ah, my he heel hurts because of this unfamiliar shoes. It seemed like I had a wound on my heel as I wore new shoes for the blind day. I guess I was limping without realizing it. Jasper asked me if I was okay with a worried look on his face. Ari, are you okay? You look uncomfortable with your shoes. Oh, I guess I skinned the back of my feet. Oh no, that must hurt. Wait, there's a pharmacy over there. Give me a second. Sorry? Jasper went into the pharmacy. Oh, <laughs> That's nice. He came back with a band-aid and ointment. Without giving me time to say anything. I bought this, he he. He handed me the band-aid and ointment, but with a poppy <laughs> like look, as if he wants to be praised. <laughs> um, 
compliment with a touched look. Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> I need this. You are so thoughtful. As I received the band aid and ointment with a touched look, Jasper smiled proud, proudly. Haha, <laughs> this is nothing. Two more points. ENFP who loves to be praised, noticeably delighted. Chemistry level, two more points. Actually, I've been worried about your fit for a while. That's cute. Put it on right now. I guess it must hurt. Okay, hold on. I took off my shoes, applied ointment, and put on the band-aid. Are you better now? Yes, it's much better, thanks. Tell me if it still hurts. I can give you a piggyback ride. That's kind of too much on a first, first day. Jasper frowned as if he was in pain and became playful again. What is this guy? Why is he overreacting? <laughs> Does he always flirt with people like this? That's what, what I would think because when it's going too fast, I would think I would be worried that he might be a player. ENFP's emotion is not understood. Oh, chemistry level minus three. We arrived at the restaurant soon after some talking. The restaurant was a moderately romantic place. What do you want? There are lots of delicious food. Jasper turned the menu to the side to make it so we can look at it together. Hmm, how about a pasta and pizza? Sounds great. Quickly rolled up the pasta with a fork and put it in my mouth. Oh, it's delicious. Giggle. Ari, you must hear this a lot. Pardon? That's your cute <laughs> when you eat. <laughs> I almost had an upset stomach due to this sudden flirting, but I had to respond. Haha, <laughs> thank you. ENFP thinks your shyness is cute. Chemistry level 2. I like his straightforward expression. Yeah. Look at that. INTPs appreciate straightforward expression. So when I said um, he was going too fast, like verbally expressing is okay with me, but like too much touching on the first date is not okay. So I would I would think um, trying piggyback would be like too fast for me on the first date. I don't. Know. It could be that it could be me just being Asian. I don't know. <laughs> I like his straightforward expression. Yay. Three more points. Kind of liked him sm smirking and showing his feelings. Huh, this gorgonzola pizza is tasty too. Try it. Jasper took a bite in his mouth and said in a cheerful voice. I agree, it's really nice. Doesn't it feel like we are in Italy? Because of this exotic atmosphere and local foods? So we are like in Venice restaurant. Jasper said in playful voice with his twinkling eyes, as if he was lost in the imagination. Sorry is too um, cold, <laughs> so I'm gonna go for that. I wouldn't want the day to be too serious, so I appreciate the jokes. Are we going for a boat ride after the meal? Haha, <laughs> that's right. It's a city in Europe if we go out, and we just met on a trip now. <gasps> that's romantic. Ahaha, <laughs> which country are we going next then? Germany? Germany sounds great. 
with better carbs and beers. Three more points. I don't like drinking beers. I, I don't like any alcohols. <laughs> Shall we go grab some beer then? No. Yes, let's go. <laughs> As we leave the restaurant, the cold breeze blew past us. Hmm, I love this weather. Yeah, it's nice. A little walk. We also need a bit of walking for the pub I found. I don't want to drink. Sure. As we left the restaurant, I walked. Hongdae Playground appeared. Wow, what a memory. I used to dance here before. So Hongdae is a very popular city where a lot of uh, youngsters go to hang out. There are a lot of shopping malls and a lot of uh, street artists perform performances to watch dance. Yes, I was in a dance, dance club when I was young. Oh, you must be a good dancer then. Yeah, kind of. I like paint, painting, dancing, music, and such stuff. Just then, groovy music came out of the store next door. I like this kind of song. Jasper hummed the melody and started walking with a little rhythm. <laughs> You're very energetic. I, I will think it's entertaining. Yeah, I love dancing too. I think I might start dancing with him. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of INTPs um, say that they would also be in the similar mood. I think I might be in a similar mood. Two more points. When I saw him dancing to the rhythm, I got excited as well. I won't be bored if I'm with him. Do you like this song too? As I smiled, Jasper showed me his palm. As if he wanted a high five. High five. When I was about to high five, Jasper made his hand scissors. Oh, I won't. Wait, come on. Since I won't, please grant me a wish. Well, I'll think about it and let you know. I'll tell you after thinking about it. Will you grab me one? Let me know it first. <laughs> Why would I randomly grant him a wish? So I'm scared of what he's gonna ask, so I'm just gonna say, let me know it first. I'll pick the one you would love to accept. By the way, Ari, have you ever imagined something like this? Like what? Assume that you can make any wish come true. But in turn, your friends won't know you any longer. And you can't get close to them. Oh, our conversation topic has been changing a lot since earlier. This topic is changing really wild. Well, I think it's fun. Oh, a lot of INTPs are great that it was fun. Chemistry level, three more points. As an unexpected topic came up, I could continue to focus on the conversation and there was no time to be bored. I think he could be a good match for me. Would you make a wish? So I have to choose um, between making a wish come true and lose all the friends or keep all my friends and don't have my wish granted. Well, there's no dilemma here because I don't have any friends. <laughs> um, I will make a wish. <laughs> Jasper opened his eyes wide in surprise at my answer. Oh, really? I see. How about you? I believe I wouldn't exist without people around me, so I'd rather choose friends. I see. I think I'm still me. What? Surprising how different we are. Chemistry level, three negative points. Oh, finally. Here we are. 
Guinness draft beer is really good here. At that moment, someone who had just entered the store called Jasper. Female friend. <laughs> Wait, is this Jasper? Who? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Are you on a blind date? Oh, is this that obvious? Yes, you're right. This is Ari, and this is my club friend. Hello, I'm Ari Lee. Hello, I'm just his friend. I bother your good time too much. I'll leave, enjoy your time. Leave as ASAP. I'll call you. Call you? <laughs> oh, they look really close. Sorry, she's just one of my friends in an illustrator club. And we are close. So I told her that I'm going on a blind date. I see. I guess you must have a lot of female friends. But other, most of the INTPs, um, they don't really care about it. Chemistry level minus two. Yes, I have many. But I just have a lot of friends. I do not distinguish between female and male friends. So I get along well, well with female friends as well. I don't like it. Um, having female friends online that you never meet, that is okay, but like having female friends in real life and you meet this person often, I wouldn't really like it. I think a man and woman cannot be friends. Of course, they can get along to a certain extent. But if they cross the line just by a little, they could be more than just friends. Oh, I see. Most of them think that they might have an argument because of female friends. Chemistry level minus three. Jasper's expression became subtle when he heard my thought, so I felt uncomfortable. As I noticed something that we could agree on. Oh, would you like to have another drink? Wow, it's already this time. Are you taking us away? Let me take you there. Oh yes, how about you? I'm going by bus. Go home safe then. Jasper brought me until the ticket gate. To the ticket gate and when to his bus. When I got on the subway, I got a message from Jasper. Ari, I think he's, I think he's gonna say that he doesn't wanna talk to me anymore. <laughs> Are you on your way home well? I really enjoyed the conversation today. Go home say. Hmm, is it just being gentle? Yes, me too. What? Have a safe way home. Chemistry score is so low that there is no asking out. It's total negative 10, I guess. So he's not gonna ask me out again. Unsurprisingly, I did not get any messages from Jasper since then. Uh, I kind of expected this. <laughs> Ooh, next person is an introvert. Are you available this Sunday? So, uh, with this ENFP guy, I don't know. I just feel like we're not that compatible. <laughs> but I really appreciated his um, thoughtful gesture, like straightforward expression, and how, how he was really just going with the flow, dancing to the music, and um, telling me about his imagination. It was really fun. But um, the whole vibe that he gives, it just doesn't feel serious. I don't feel like he's a serious type of person. Maybe I'm too judgy, I don't know. It, it just shows that like our, we're just, I don't know, he's not my type. All right, I'll move on to the um, next guy in the next video. See you there.